FAO's work on food loss and waste along production and supply chains isn't just a goal. It's a global movement to reform our food production and consumption systems and reduce the waste they generate. By helping to formulate SDG 12, especially target 12.3, and developing the Food Loss Index to monitor it, FAO has joined the call for a global awakening to the importance of the problem. The Office of Evaluation at FAO has carried out an assessment of FAO's work in food loss and waste reduction from 2015 to 2023. This evaluation aims to enhance FAO's involvement in food loss and waste reduction within the context of the FAO Strategic Framework of 2022 to 2031. The evaluation team drew on a wide range of data and evidence. This included a portfolio analysis, synthesis of evaluations, review of current and previous country programming frameworks, country case studies, a review of key FAO knowledge products, analysis of documents prepared for the UN Food Systems Summit, interviews and a survey of national statisticians trained on the Food Loss Index. The data and evidence collected were used to answer three broad questions centered on strategic positioning and comparative advantage, contribution to development results, and coherence. The evaluation found that FAO has positioned itself as a key player on food loss and waste reduction, leveraging its technical expertise and its role as the custodian agency for SDG sub-indicator 12.3.1a, the Food Loss Index. FAO's strategic framework has broadened the organization's focus on food loss and waste from primarily addressing post-harvest losses to encompassing entire value chains, including at retail and consumer levels. This shift aligns well with the priorities of members. FAO's Programme Priority Area, or PPA, on reducing food loss and waste, Better Nutrition 4, remains starved of both donor funding and FAO personnel. The field programme linked to this PPA represents less than 1% of FAO's field project resources. FAO has developed the methodology to measure food loss and has started providing training. The methodology is demanding. Among the 21 indicators for which FAO is custodian agency, this indicator remains the one least reported on at country level. FAO's high-quality publications related to food loss and waste are an area of strength. In particular, the State of Food and Agriculture 2019 report on food loss and waste represented a significant milestone. The evaluation concluded that elevating food loss and waste within FAO's strategic framework of 2022 to 2031 as a standalone program priority area has highlighted its critical role at the heart of agri-food system reform. However, the evaluation also reveals a need for better resourcing and for a more innovative and integrated approach to food loss and waste reduction that pays greater attention to socio-economic and environmental considerations. Food loss and waste reduction deserves more support from FAO's growing climate change mitigation programs. If food waste were a country, it would be the third largest global greenhouse gas emitter. The evaluation makes five recommendations. One, expand awareness raising efforts as the topic of food loss and waste is still largely out of public sight in many countries. Two, Increase efforts to strengthen statistical capacity at the national level to use the Food Loss Index methodology in producing food loss and waste data by members. 3. Increase the number of agri-food systems and food safety division personnel working on food loss and waste. 4. Integrate more systematically environmental considerations, climate impact, gender and youth in the life cycle of food loss and waste interventions and mainstream food loss and waste to a greater extent across the four betters. And 5. Strengthen the connection between the four accelerators and the PPAs to seize the opportunities afforded by technical and policy innovations. Reducing food loss and waste contributes pragmatically to the reform of agri-food systems in a manner that makes sense to local actors. During the period under review, FAO has led the conceptual groundwork for a holistic approach to the problem. 
Further success will depend on the capacity of FAO, its members and partners, to reach out to consumers and to engage with producers and private operators across the whole spectrum of production units, large and small.